Hey there, welcome back to eFishing. I'm Rodney. We're down here in the garage still and we're working on video three of our custom painting crankbait series for cold water patterns. So we still got our rock crawler knockoff here. They're painted up, they're ready to go. So the color we're gonna to do today is kind of a variation of Spro's Root Beer Chartreuse. In my variation, I call it bone mustard. So it's got a little more bone in it Still got a chartreuse and brown back on it, but uh, it's a real good stained water color. So if you guys like this stuff, give me a thumbs up. Go down there and hit that subscribe button because it helps that uh, channel out because we're trying to get it monetized and help offset some of the cost to producing these things. But anyways, especially hit that subscribe button if y'all pick something up. So anyways, let's go paint. All right, here we are. We're here at the workbench and we're ready to start painting on this uh, rock crawler knockoff here and we're going to start this bone mustard so the first we've already got it painted primed and all that but to make this bone mustard here's the colors that I've used so starting off is this detailed white put 10 drops of that into my paint cup then I take this transparent bright yellow from Createx and I put four drops of that in. And then the last thing, we use this transparent light brown and we put one drop of that in. So that's the mixture. Make sure you mix that up real well in your uh, paint cup. And here's what it looks like in the paint cup. It's got a nice bone color to it. So let's get ready and start painting. So there it is. There's our bone color. We're going to heat set this, and then we'll be back here in a minute to put a second coat on. So hold on. All right, there it is. We're going to heat set that, and then we're going to come back and do the next step. Y'all hang on. All right, here we are. Our next step is we're going to use this fluorescent yellow from Createx to put some chartreuse shoulders on this crankbait. So here we go. And we're just going to build it up. We're going to put it on the back a little bit too. So. All right, we're gonna heat set this and we're gonna put another coat on. So we'll be back here in a second. There we go, we got our chartreuse back on it. So we're going to clean the brush, heat set this, and then we'll be right back. All right. We're ready to put our brown stripe down the back here. I'm sure y'all can see this. Just this camera a little bit. But we're just going to use our wicked detailed burnt umber here. And we're just going to put a brown stripe on it. We might have to do a couple of layers on it, but here we go. And there it is. We're going to keep adding layers to it. 
Well, the uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to darken it. Go ahead and darken the head up. All right, there we go. It's looking pretty good. We're going to heat set that, and then we're going to do another coat on it. So y'all hang on. All right, here we go. Second coat. And I think we're going to be good with that. we got one more thing we're going to do to it. And you could stop right here, put eyeballs on it, clear it, and go. But there's one more thing we're going to do. Y'all hang tight. We're going to heat set this. We'll be right back. All right, here we are. We've got our crankbait with the chartreuse shoulders and the brown back. So the last color we're going to do on this is we're going to put a pink throat on this. So what I did was I took four drops of this detailed white, wicked detailed white, and then I took this transparent. I took so I took four drops of this, and this bright red. All I did was I took my paint, an end of a paintbrush, stuck it down in there just to get some color on the tip of it, and then I just put it in my paint cup and swirled it around till the color I got. So there's the color. Y'all can see it down in there. And we're going to just see there it is. Make sure y'all can see that. And we're just going to put a little bit of that on the throat of this thing. So here we go. And there we go. And that's all we're going to do is that little bit of pink on that throat right there and that's it all we're going to do now is put some eyeballs on that so y'all hang tight we're going to clean this brush out and get a q-tip and we'll come back and put some eyeballs on this thing hold on all right here we go we're going to start on our eyeballs we're just going to take a q-tip roll it around down here in this paint this opaque white like we have on the other ones and just dot an eyeball on there and do that on the same the other side so we're going to heat set that we'll be back with the next color y'all hang tight all right here we go here's the next here's what our eye color is going to be it's going to be this fluorescent orange on this thing we're just going to do the same thing Take our Q-tip, roll it down in there, kind of roll it into a point. Just roll that thing around till you get a point on it. Here we go. Some on the other side. Right there. Still got a little white showing right there, so. There we go. We're going to heat set that, and then we'll come back and put some pupils in it so y'all hang tight. All right, here we go. We're going to do our pupils. And we've just got some Createx opaque black. But I got this little eye daughter from one of the craft places. I don't remember where I had it. I've had it for a while, but it does a real good job. You could do it with a Q-tip. You just have to roll that thing up into a real fine point and just dot it in there and you know make your pupil so so here we go or 
I like that. We got a people. We'll reload our paint and do the other one. There it is. There it is. We got some little eyeballs right there. So all we're going to do now is we'll clear it, put some hooks on it, and then we'll be back. But that might be a couple days, so y'all hang on. All right, here we are. We got bone mustard. It's cleared up. It's ready to go. Let's get y'all better. Look at this out here in the sun. All right, here we go. It's bone mustard. You can see the brown bite, chartreuse shoulders on it. And then it's got a bone body with a little bit of pink on the throat there. Let me know what y'all think about this down there in the comments if y'all like this color. Anybody throws something like this? Caught any fish on it? I've caught a few fish on it. It's a good stained water pattern, especially when it's kind of cold. Anyways, if y'all like this kind of stuff, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if y'all pick something up. I'm Rodney, Lee Fishing. We'll uh, catch y'all out on the water sometime, maybe fishing this thing. We're out.